you know, 17 assists, six turnovers. I think we're trending in the right direction that way. Um, you know, if you look at two of our losses early, um, the turnovers killed us in, in both games. So I think these guys understanding, taking taking care of the basketball and getting a shot up every time and not giving the other team easy buckets and, and making guys work. So how do you feel overall about the direction of the team heading into the, the Big Ten opener on Friday? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's what, I kind of knew this was, this was how the season was going to go, to be honest with you. Um, I, I really wanted to take advantage of these 10 days of practice to kind of – I knew we were going to struggle early. So um, these guys – have put in a great amount of work and practice. And so I, I feel good. I don't think we're there yet. I think we still have a lot more, um, a lot of work to do, but they're, they're trending in the right direction. Hey, Coach, you had such a big lead at halftime. How do you ensure that they play to a standard the last 20 minutes? I, I think that's a good thing about having a guy like Jameer Young. You know, he, he's not going to, Jameer is the ultimate professional. He's going to go out there and he's going to make sure that not only is he playing the right way, but the team's playing the right way. So I just have a lot of confidence in a guy like Jameer that he's going to do it. He's going to do the right thing. Have you ever been part of a game where you had 32 free throw attempts in the first half? I mean, I'm, I've never been in a game where we only have four four guys score. So I guess it's a first. <laughs> I guess it's a first for everything. Uh, yeah, coach. In the, as the game started, it seemed like your team was really concentrating on driving the bucket and maybe not just for guarding the three, but looking for the easier shots. Did I see that right? Is that, is yeah, that I mean, I, absolutely. I, I, again, we knew they, I mean, we knew they were going to play a zone. We've worked a lot, and we watched film and saw what we did wrong against South Alabama zone. We did a lot of good things against South Alabama zone. I thought we did a really good job early just getting the ball to the high post. And we got two bounce passes for dunks. Jordan got dunked. Juju got dunked. And I think that just helped relax everybody to go against the zone. And, you know, Jamie came in, hit a couple threes, and I just think it opened up for us. Kevin, at four, eight, eight to 20 from three-point range, how encouraging is that for you guys as you begin Big Ten play this Friday? Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't as worried about the three-point percentage because I knew Jameer would – Jameer's going to make his threes. You know, he had a, he had a tough night the other night. I think it was two for nine or two for 11 or whatever it was from three. Um, you know, so I know he's going to probably get a high majority of our threes. He's going to be a 40% three-point shooter. Um, I knew Jamie and, and Noah are eventually going to start making shots, you know, as they get a little bit more comfortable, as they get a little bit used to the game speed. So I wasn't as concerned with the three-point shot as everybody else. Defensively in the first half, you guys turn him over nine times, that 31-6 run. What do you feel the keys were? I think Jordan Jarama was playing with, a, with tremendous energy. Um, he's exactly what I thought he would be for us. Um, he's given us – he's doing some really good things on the defensive end. He's protecting a lot of guys. We're able to switch with him. Um, you know, he plays 23 minutes and he's plus 32. That just tells you how, much, how hard he's playing, how much energy he's playing with. With your freshmen, are you seeing their comfort growing as you know they get through these early stages of their career? Yeah, they're getting there. This kind of goes off the back of the three-point shooting being a little bit improved, but uh, but with Jamie to see those first two threes fall after some of the struggles he did have, you know how important is that for his confidence to to you know get him going? I'm sure it's huge for his confidence. Um, but again, I never lost confidence in Jamie. So I don't, I don't think he ever lost confidence because I, I keep telling him to shoot it. So, um, you know, we came in, me, 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 him, and Deshaun came in yesterday morning at, at 8 a.m. and we put a good hour, hour in just shooting the basketball and, and watching the ball go in. And when you shoot with Jamie, it's, you don't even need a rebounder, to be honest with you. you, know, you he'll go. 48 out of 50 from three. It's just a matter of him just getting a little bit more comfortable and understanding. I mean, it's he's a freshman. He's going to struggle a little bit every once in a while. But I have great confidence in his shooting ability. Uh, Kevin, you talked about Julian's progression from the line in practice, but he, had, he went 14 from 17 tonight, doubled his career high and makes from the line. Just what did you see from him to do that in the game tonight? He's, he's put a lot of work in it. We continue to put a lot of work in it. Um, 
it's something me and him are, have been, uh, we've been grinding since May. Um, you know, his mid-range shot has gotten really good. I mean, he, he doesn't get make very many opportunities in the games just because, um, you know, he's such a force down low. But his mid-range, he shoots a lot of them in practice. Um, his mid-range has gotten really good. And I think because of his mid-range uh, being so good, it, it's just that's kind of gone to the free throw line too. Um, but he works at it, man. It's, it's just that didn't happen. That's been since May May 2nd, I think, we started working on a shot this year. So, I mean, that's that's him putting it in the whole summer, every morning, 8 a.m. with me. And that, it's not a whole lot of fun being with me. Coach, I know this was obviously the best you guys shot this year. Did you feel like there was a noticeable difference in the quality of looks you guys were getting throughout the game today? Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I think um, I thought in the first half, I thought our defense just gave us a lot of opportunities, fast break points. And so, you know, you get you turn them over nine times, you get we had 22 deflections in the first half. I thought our defense really led to us getting some easy buckets. And again, you know, being at home, uh, we had two really good days of practice this week going into this game. So. I just think everyone's starting to get a little bit more comfortable with each other out there. I think, uh, especially that starting that starting unit has really, really it's a, it, it's one of the most productive units in the country right now. So um, I think they're getting used to what their role is and what they're doing. All right, everybody, have a great one.